into battle against a deadly enemy. Regular fogging by teams of health inspectors is one of the many ways to keep the Aedes aegypti dengue mosquito under control. But no amount of work like this can destroy them completely. This is an unfortunate disease in which we don't have a vaccine. We don't have effective antiviral treatment for it. So everything revolves around control. The entire management of dengue revolves around control. And what the health minister means by control is removing the sites where mosquitoes can breed. Anywhere there is stagnant water, and that can be in private homes as well as outside. Discarded trash is one of the main places dengue mosquitoes breed. All the Aedes mosquito needs is a small pool of water to lay eggs, and larvae will appear within three days. Door-to-door -door house calls are another means of getting the message across to householders. If residents are not at home, then a leaflet is left at their door. Once inside, health inspectors will check any and every potential breeding spot. Toilets, refrigerator drip trays, kitchen sinks. But it's not easy. There are people who reluctantly uh, don't allow us to go into their premises to do inspection or they don't even check their, by themselves the potential places to destroy it. There are four types of dengue virus that people can be infected with, but generally one strain is more predominant than others. Previously in Malaysia it was types 1 and 3. This year, however, it is type 2 that is causing most infections. What we are seeing now is something very different from before in terms of the, the numbers and also the aggressiveness of the disease, the aggressiveness with the chance of mortality. So the message health workers want to get across to the public is simple. Your country needs you to clean up to stop the mosquitoes from breeding and to cover up to prevent you and your family from being bitten.